Welcome to Physics with Vishal. Hello, my name is Vishal and this is my assistant Michael. Hello. Namaste. Today we will be talking about our mousetrap car and analyzing the physics behind it. While designing our car, we had to keep certain things in mind, such as Newton's three laws of motion. Newton's first law states that an object will stay in motion until an unbalanced force acts upon it, and therefore we, we designed our wheels to have a perfect balance of friction so that the wheels would push the car forward, but it wouldn't slow down when it's moving. Newton's second law of motion states that mass and acceleration are inversely related. That is why we chose lightweight materials such as cardboard for the car in order for the acceleration and velocity to be greatest. Newton's third law of motion states that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. And in the mousetrap car's case, we designed the wheels to have a perfect balance of friction because we need some friction so that when the wheel pushes on the ground, the, the ground pushes back and moves the car forward. When designing a mousetrap car, you must keep three laws of motion in mind. However, there is still some room for creativity. For example, in our car, we chose to use CDs as the wheels because they are lightweight and provide adequate traction with the ground. When the car accelerates, they do not just spin in place, but rather they push off, push off the ground and accelerate forward. We use wooden axles that are surrounded by plastic cylinders to minimize friction so that the wheels can turn with ease. We tried to maximize the impulse on our car by finding a balance between the force and the distance it was acted upon. And when we have a small force and a large distance, that will allow our car to move farther even though it won't move as fast. To do this, we created a long lever arm attached to a mousetrap which was placed as far away from the rear axle as possible. All of our design choices, in turn, allowed the ribbon to have a great amount of tension over a great amount of time as the lever arm returned to its regular position, thus allowing the ribbon to turn the back axles. When the car is wound up, it has elastic potential energy from the mousetrap springs. This transfers into rotational kinetic energy when the wheels push off the ground. Later on, this transfers into thermal energy when the friction slows the car down to a complete stop. In terms of work, the mousetrap does work on the axles, which in turn turn the wheels. That's it for today, and thanks for listening! Alright.